Why, hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV on Playframe, and welcome back to Yulmore, city of great luxury and questionable policy. As an Uldan, I for one am really feeling at home. Nice of them to make the place more... Wel well, welcoming's not the word, but, you know, familiar, for better and mostly worse. The amiable maiden appears suddenly concerned. All this talk of relying on the bonded, and I haven't given a thought as to what your duties might be. I hope I haven't interrupted your work unduly. Oh no, I'm just poking around. A tour of the city, is it? Then you really must visit the beehive. It's always buzzing with activity. <laughs> and local humor. Anyway, a lady by the name of Tista Bie usually has her seat near the entrance. She will gladly speak with you on any number of topics, assuming you find yourself on her good side. I will endeavor to find myself on that good side. How hard could it be? I am not only charming by default, but have you seen this outfit? I am irresistible. Ah, here we are. Must be the beehive. Hello. Welcome to the beehive, my little drone. Seeking the sting of excitement to liven up your day. Hmm, <laughs> I can tell at a glance when folk are new to our happy colony. It's the nervous fluttering, you see. Always gives them away. Why don't we play some cards to set you at your ease, huh? A quick game of high or low. It's simply a matter of guessing who has the bigger hand. If you win, I'll grant you a single favor. Within reason, of course. Interested? You know, why not? I got a little time. Ready for a game of high or low, then? Uh, what are the rules? High or low is a guessing game. You must decide whether the total of your three cards is higher or lower than the total of your opponent's cards. The deck holds nine cards, with the pictures printed thereon representing the numbers one through nine. Each number appears only once in the deck, so there are no repeats. If you guess correctly, then you win the match. If both totals are the same, then another hand is dealt. Well, let's play. Good for you. No time like the present, I say. Three cards for you, three cards for me. You flip one of yours over, and I flip over two of mine. <laughs> Is that the Final Fantasy VIII or nine card game music? I forget. I want to say eight. I think it's eight. Now, what's your call? Will your total be higher or lower than mine? Well, I got a two, and she's got a eight and a nine, so I will almost definitely be lower. There's very little way I could manage to be higher. Low. You're going with low then? Right, let's see what we've got. My cards add up to 20, and you have a total of 13. I win. Congratulations, your guess was right. Hmm, usually I'd concede defeat at this point, but what do you say to a rematch? One more win, then we'll talk about that favor. You're on. I'm great at this. Another match of high or low? Come now, little honeybee. We all need our diversions. Let's play. That's the spirit. Let me sort out the deck. I forgot you play a little card game here. Three cards for you, three cards for me. You flip one of yours over, I flip two of mine. Let's see now. Hmm. A little tougher to tell, actually. We have nine, she has the three and the five, eight total. The six and the seven are still unaccounted for. I would have to get like a one and a two and she'd have to get like the eight <laughs> for this to uh, really go sideways. I'm going to guess high for me. You're going with high then. Right, let's see what we've got. 
Oh yeah, we're good. My cards add up to 12 and you have a total of 18. We win again. Well, well, would you look at that? I think you've got a knack for this newcomer. Congratulations, victory is yours, as is the prize I promised. Boy, all this time I've been trying to be like a adventurer, warrior of light, all these other things. I really missed my calling, winning at cards. Come whisper in my ear then, and don't be shy. Tell Autista what she can do for you. That's all? How delightfully wholesome. But if knowledge is what you want, then that is what you shall have. In my humble estimation, the most wondrous thing about this town is how safe we are from the Sin Eaters. They say Lord Vothry was born with the power to command them, which means no Yulmorin ever need raise a weapon in defense of the city. Was that the kind of thing you wished to know? If your itch still needs scratching, you might get a few words out of Atharn over there. There's not that Mary Sot likes more than the sound of his own voice. I'll go ask around then. Thank you. Uh... Atharn. Hello. I seek information. And I hear you like talking. Was that new to you, more, you say? <laughs> Only just arrived, and already you're looking to peel away the layers of mystery. Though I'm all for chatting, but you need to slow down and enjoy life, my friend. I tell you what, you hop up on that stage and give us a dance first, and then we can have our little talk. Hmm. Well. If that's all. Didn't really come dressed for dancing, but... I will do my very best. Let's see. Dance. Is this what you were looking for? That's the way! Dance like there's no tomorrow! Very easily impressed. Or I'm much better at dancing than I thought. Boy, I'm just a natural at everything that goes on in here. Now that was a show. You're welcome to clamber up on stage anytime you like. So, what was it you wanted to ask me? Ah, oh, yes, something about our fair city. Well, I can tell you it wasn't always so peaceful as it is today. The Yulmoran army may be the very essence of military might, but even our forces saw grievous losses in the war against the Sin Eaters. Things changed for us around 20 years ago now, when the old ruler's son came to power. He's got this way with the Eaters, you see. It turns them docile as house cats. I wouldn't be exaggerating to say they've become something of an ally to Yulmor, no longer an enemy to be feared. And yet, elsewhere, there are still fools who insist on fighting their losing battles. <laughs> a toast to Lord Vothry! You've gained a preliminary sense of the city. The Chais and Alphano will be expecting your return. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose we can't just dance and play cards all day. What else on the walls around here? Some lovely art, but also... Is this like a schedule? I wonder. Or like... A new arrivals thing, or... Hmm. Too low res to tell. Alphano! Pardon me, everyone. I'm looking for Alphano. Oh, you've returned from your jaunt around the city. So soon. You needn't have hurried back. Young Alphano has yet to put brush to canvas. Where is he, anyway? One cannot rush good art, I'm told. Or good artists, apparently. Ah, finally. Well, well. I see I'm not the only one making costume changes. I've put together an ensemble out of the garments you chose. Is this satisfactory? Oh, goodness gracious me! That last outfit was precious, but this makes you look positively dashing. You truly are a handsome boy. However, am I to decide? Uh, 
What happened to painting? I don't recall this part of the artistic process. <laughs> My mentor. For real, though, what happened to painting? Exactly. The lad is an artist, dearest, not a dress-up doll. It's about time we set him to work for the reason we called him here. Must we? I do love a good painting, but I thought since we were enjoying ourselves so thoroughly... Well, I'd not... That is to say, as long as you... Yeah, just make sure you give the lad time to prepare. We know who will be upset if he is not ready to paint at a moment's notice. Whatever you say, darling. So, shall we pick out some jewelry next? He is very cute. I understand this impulse. Very dress upable. Things seem to be working so far, though. I got information. Alphano draws you close with a whisper. Lady Chai has a very particular sense of beauty, and apparently that extends to how I should dress whilst painting. But this obsession of hers works in our favor. The time I spend indulging these distractions is time you can use to continue your explorations. For this excursion, I'd like you to delve into the layer below us and sniff about the military headquarters. I'm sure the understory has its own tale to tell. That's a good idea. Now's your chance to squeeze in another round of reconnaissance. Go, I'll cover your absence should the Chai's become suspicious. Appreciate it. You have fun. Enjoy the jewelry. Now let's get poking around the understory then. Do, 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 do. I believe this should be the entrance. Yes. Okay. Gather information here. Quite a few cages, I'm noticing. Should I be concerned? Hmm. Well, I guess if it's storage, that's fine. Um, oh! Oh, that'll be convenient. Um... Maybe further toward the bottom, there will be someone to talk to. Hello? Anyone feeling talkative? Um... Everything good? Weeping warbler? <laughs> um... Why are you in the pantry? You... You're one of the bonded, aren't you? Like me? Please, I need your help. My throat is... I can't sing anymore. I've been making excuses, but it's just not getting any better. If my patron thinks I'm of no use to him, then... <sighs> I need you to sneak out to the derelicts and describe my condition to Thorridge. Here's a list of symptoms and a hunk of meal to pay for his medicines. Please, I have no one else to turn to. Uh, yes, got it. I will have that back here in a jiff. Let's see. Somewhere outside and well to the southeast. Okay. Gives us a little chance to traipse around here then. Get a better sense for the derelicts. Yeah, some fancy chairs end up out here, I guess. Where'd you get the chair? Those are some fine clothes you have there. Who's your supplier? Oh, my fairy godparent dresses me. Anyway, goodbye! Quite a mess out here, and I love that you can kind of see a lot of just... trash and refuse and such that have just been dropped down from above. Like, maybe there was some damage to the place, and that's what we're kind of seeing here, but I more suspect this is a lot of stuff that was just broken or no longer in use or whatever, and it's just been kind of thrown off the side. Hello? 
That must be Thorich. Whose name I bet I'm saying wrong. Hello. <laughs> you need medicines? Tonics? Potions? Let's see. I have here a list of the singer's symptoms. Coughing, hoarse, hard to swallow, feels like something's there, sore throat. And also a meal chunk. A portion of meal intended as payment for an apothecary's medicine. Here you go. Snack delivery. Mmm, a cure for an ailing voice, is it? No, no medicine will cure this. Methinks your songbird has a lump in her throat. It must be cut out, excised, and even then, the voice may never heal completely. <laughs> oh, poor little songbird. Will they kick her from the nest, I wonder? Or simply silence her chirps? I don't follow. <laughs> All your face. You didn't know? Of the many hopefuls who enter the city, very few are ever seen to leave, even as corpses. Oh, you might see one or two fortunate fools hurled from the balconies, but the rest? Gone. A town of nightmares it is. Not for this ship's rat. Oh, no, no, no. I'm content to scurry around here, nibble on the crumbs which fall from the table. This consultation's over. You have my verdict, and I have my meal. Good day. Hmm. Not loving the picture this is all starting to paint. Unfortunate news. D did you get my medicine? Uh. <sighs> so that's it? What am I to do if I can't sing? Oh, there you are, my sweet canary. Have you been crying again? Don't tell me your voice is still not on the mend. Oh, generous sir. Have mercy. I've done all I can, but even the apothecary said... So you've been suffering all this time. I'm sorry, my pet. I hadn't realized your affliction was this grave. But you needn't fret. I'll not reward your hours of trilling by casting you out into the street. You are too kind, sir. But what use am I if I cannot sing? I fear the day I become more burden to you than treasure. Then I shall have a word with Lord Vothry and arrange for your ascension. In that paradise where resides neither pain nor illness will your song ring out clearly once again. Or mayhap you think it a step too far. No, I... You would do that for me? Of course. Why, I would almost wish to hasten my own ascension, knowing your blessed instrument was waiting there to greet me. Ascension... Um, what is this thing y'all are saying? Oh, you must be a new arrival. Allow me to explain. As all know, the Sin Eaters exist to devour the sinful. But also do they serve to gather the souls of the innocent and shepherd them unto celestial paradise. It is through Lord Vothry that we learned this truth. It is through Lord Vothry's grace that the free people of Yulmore are destined to embrace salvation. We are blessed to spend our days surrounded by love and merriment, until at last we are called to our final rapture. Even the bonded may find a place within that host, should their patrons deem them worthy. Lord Vothry truly is a great man, isn't he? Now, if you will excuse us, we must be on our way. May you find eternal salvation for the compassion you've shown my precious canary. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. We better go check in with the boy. Alphano, I'm feeling increasingly concerned about this place we found ourselves. Oh, goodness gracious. You do work fast. And you are good at what you do. Tis good to see you back. You were taking so long, I began to worry something had happened. I've begun sketching an outline for the portrait, but 
Nay, the Chai's appear otherwise occupied. Will you share what your investigations have gleaned thus far? So, Lord Vothry boasts some manner of influence over the Sin Eaters, does he? That would explain the reverence in which he's held by the citizenry. And as for this ascension business, I cannot help but be put in mind of that apothecary and his ominous remarks. If so many folk have entered the city over the years, then where do they go? Hmm. Where indeed? Well, what do we do now? Alphano seems eager to discuss the significance of your discoveries. Hmm. I take my eye off you for one moment and you're chattering away with that assistant of yours. Am I to assume the outline is done, then? What in the blazes? It's so... so unflattering. Explain yourself, Alphano. Where is your artistic interpretation? It should evoke images of affluence and nobility, and overwhelm the viewer with its boundless beauty. Lord Chai, you stated that this portrait was to commemorate your anniversary. Yours being a joyous union, it seems to me that a realistic portrayal... Realistic? I don't want realism, I want perfection. A spectacle to slacken jaws and weaken knees, to make people cry out in amazement. Now fetch a blank canvas... I say, did that come from above? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. A tale to make you quiver and your noble blood freeze. There was a villain on the loose, set to ruin our fair city. But our lord has got him now, and his fate will not be pretty. Yes, the hammer of justice is poised to come crashing down, and one and all who'd watch it fall are invited to join his lordship in the offer. A malcontent? How dreadful. And this man is to face sentencing? That's right. In fact, if you're curious, it might be worth you going along for the experience. The offer they mentioned is part of the Emergent, the level above us where Lord Vothry resides. Ordinarily, you'd be barred from entering, but it seems they'll be opening its doors for the next little while. The crown lift will take you up there. We'd better not dawdle, then. I agree. Let's go see about this. How do we get up there? Must be this way. Joining the crowd up there. Indeed I am. That's him. That's Vothry. attended by Sin Eaters. But how does he keep them from attacking? Mercy! Mercy! By the Twelve! Kaishia, what happened to you? Are these impudent louts? I do not recall requesting their presence. 
Lord Vortry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. He came to us, claiming to be a man of business. Yet his subsequent conduct has shown him to be anything but. Your is a city built on love for one's fellow man. Those who have naught to give and live only to take are a blight upon our society! To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. And he had the temerity to weep. Please, my lord, <laughs> anything but that. What then is a man of mercy to do? But offer the sinner another way to show his contrition. Another way meaning what exactly? Sin eaters are part of Yulmore's society, but they must be fed with ether. Living ether. So, I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand, from his own hide. And still, still, he could not do as I asked. A wholly unsatisfactory performance. It is true that Kaishia won his place here by fraud, but his actions were driven only by a desire to share in your paradise. That you would cast him out, I could almost accept, but to humiliate him thus, to demand his very life? Is this truly the way of Yulmore? Oh, you dim, deluded child. Have you ever paused to consider what it takes to maintain such a paradise in this barren, broken world of ours? The guarantee of safety and stability. The knowledge that if one only abides by the rules, one has naught to fear. I alone can offer these things, for I alone can command the Sin Eaters. And thus am I alone the voice of justice, and any who oppose me, villains to be punished. And people call this paradise. granted a place in my city for a particular skill. What was it? Painting. Oh, an artiste! Then you shall paint a picture for me. Of Yulmore. If I find your art pleasing, then I may excuse this display of insolence. You permission to tend to that criminal's wounds! I told you to paint me a picture! What you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Little worm just insult me. I'll 
Kill them! I'll kill them all! I'll enslave their minds! I'll, I'll torment them! Torture them! Then tear out their hearts! Um, hey, pal, we better probably make a hasty retreat. Thank you. Again. Forgive me. In my anger, I seem to have marched us back outside again. Though it is probably best we leave the island altogether. I believe we've worn out our welcome in Yulmore. In any case, I've seen enough of the world's self-proclaimed capital city to convince me that our battle against the Sin Eaters will find few allies in Calusia. I will accompany you back to the Crystarium. We need to regroup and think on our strategy anew. Works for me. Kaishir, I've done you a grave disservice. You were hungry and desperate, and I offered you a solution without once considering the risks inherent in you accepting it. If I had but known the price you'd be made to pay. You gave me everything I needed to make your idea work. It was me who made a mess of things, not you. But even after all the trouble I caused, you still stepped in and saved me. And now Lord Valthry wants us all dead. Why not come back with us to the Crystarium? I'm certain we can find work for you there, if you're willing. No. That would just be me leaning on your kindness again. I need to do some thinking. Learn how to stand on my own two feet. Very well. But you must promise you'll be careful. The Ulmorans may yet come looking for us. I'll keep my head down, don't worry. And you take care too. Give me the chance to repay what you've done for me. Alf! Alphino! Lord and Lady Chai. What in the blazes did you do? They have the entire city looking for you. I took a peek at your unfinished portrait, Alphino. Now, I've had many a beautiful and striking picture painted for me, but there was something about your work. It was as if you had caught the very essence of our love and rendered it naked upon the canvas. It was bold, unflinching, and I adored it. Please, you must come back with us and finish what you began. I'll speak with Lord Valthry and vouch for your character. I'm sure we can smooth over any hard feelings. I'm sorry, Lady Chai. There are more important matters to which I must attend. More important? What could be more important than enjoying the days we have left to us to the fullest? Pray, press me no further. We are leaving. But I would not presume to take the garments you were so kind as to procure for me. One moment. I wouldn't hear of it. Keep the clothes, you silly boy, I insist. And I shall make arrangements so that you can pass through the gate without causing a stir. I expect you to come and visit. I will return, I promise you that. The outrage I witnessed must not go unanswered. And next time we meet, I shall be better prepared to confront the corruption which hides behind the glittering facade. You know, I do kind of wish that... I love that we do finally have some more heavy-set characters in this world. It's kind of a shame that they are generally all so far kind of used, arguably as a visual shortcut to show the gluttony or excess of this place. That's less great. Still, she is a real sweetheart. If a bit deluded. I guess it would be pretty hard not to be in a place like that. Anyway, time for us to head back. Alphano, are you ready? Thank you, my friend, for staying at my side through this whole sordid endeavor. Whilst not quite the joyous outcome I had hoped for, our efforts have nevertheless answered a great many questions. Suffice it to say, our plans for saving the first are unlikely to involve the aid of Lord Vothry and his subjects. Come, we must speak with the Exarch and chart a new course. 
This is far from over. Well said. As usual. Ah, we're back. Let's go give a full report. Let me in, please. We're back. Ah, it is good to be back amongst friends. In such company, I can finally turn my thoughts to the future. But ere we discuss all we've learned and begin planning our next step, I think it best that you visit Alice. Her familiarity with Amareng will no doubt provide us invaluable insight. And besides, I know she's as eager to see you as I was. Bring a smile to her face, Dermon. I will do my very best. Been worrying about her. So yes, when next we return, I will be probably back in regular Dark Knight clothes, and we will go and find what our Alice has been up to. I will see you next time. Goodbye!